Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott, and this is my super, super late July recap, as well as my August recap. Uh, with all the national hubbub, I put off the rest of July till now, and I didn't think you'd mind, so there's a lot going on. Um, I wanted to check in. I wanted to do some VRs. We have our shareholders meeting. I've got some really nice care packages and some pickups, so let's do it. Speaking of late, this one is really late, but I, I did want to show my BFF uh, Pepino man that uh, I, I do appreciate him. He recently celebrated 3,000 subs and he wanted to see our favorite card from each decade and uh, starting the 50s. And he also wanted to see uh, one card that we'd like to acquire from each decade. But just to keep things moving and because it doesn't matter anyway, I'm, I'm just going to show the cards that I own. Um, before we get into that, though, I do want to thank Caesar for uh, doing this YouTube thing so well for so long. Um, you're one of those guys that really paved the way for guys like me. And the fact that you're still doing it and you're still inspiring and you're setting that bar really high um, for the rest of us, I, I really do appreciate what you do. And um, I'm sure I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So thank you. Anyway, enough sappy stuff. Uh, for the 50s, it's so tough to choose, but my favorite card is going to be my autographed 1959 Topps Destruction Crew. For the 1960s, I got to go with the 66 Don Mossy. For the 70s, I went with my 71 Thurman Munson. I know it's a Yankee, but Thurman is an Akron guy like me, and I've had this one since I was a kid. For the 80s, I'm going to go with my 80s retraded Julio Franco. Julio was the first MLB player that I ever met, and I love the 83 set growing up. Uh, for the 90s, I'm going to go with the iconic 91 Bowman Jim Tomey rookie. The uh, 2000s is probably the decade that I have the least knowledge about, so I'm going to go with this uh, 2006 Upper Deck Satchel Pants relic that uh, George gifted to me. Hard to top satchel pants. For the uh, 2010s, I'm going to go with the uh, 2014 Topps Heritage J Ram rookie. I love that 65 design, and this is easily my favorite Jose Ramirez rookie card. And finally, for the 2020s, I'm going to go with the very first Guardians card ever, the 2021 Topps Living Tristan McKenzie. And I had Dr. Six sign this one for me. And uh, yeah, congrats, Caesar, and thanks again for all you do, man. My best friend John at 3D80s Kit, he is celebrating two years on YouTube and he wants to hear about the impetuses of our YouTube channels. Um, quite frankly, I started making videos just to show off. <laughs> I've told this story before, uh, but not all of you have heard it. So years ago, I found myself watching a lot of maker videos like uh, people who did woodworking or metal smithing or had silly robotics projects, uh, really people who just created stuff out of nothing. And that looked like a ton of fun. And I wanted to make videos videos too. So um, I do dabble in making, but my talents really lie in art. So I figured that I would just uh, create a random art video every day. My very first video happened to fall on opening day, and uh, it was a digital art piece of then Cleveland Indians pitcher Mike Clevenger. Um, I quickly realized that it was way, way too long. I think it was around 15 minutes or so, and I did a lot of watching of people who were watching my videos, and four to five minutes seemed to be the sweet spot for these kinds of things. So that's my big criticism for my first one. I think the effort was there, and that polish that I like, that was there. Uh, my voiceover was a little slow and monotone, um, but I, I've worked hard on that and that really doesn't come naturally to me. So I'm, I'm still working on that actually. Anyway, even though that was the very first video, uh, sports art definitely was not the intent. Uh, originally, I wanted to do a, a new piece every weekday and uh, there was no real focus. Um, I started doing TTM videos occasionally, drawing a baseball player and sending the drawings through the mail and people really dug those. So I doubled down on that and absolutely fell in love with this community and uh, I never looked back. One of the most famous makers in this YouTube space is a guy named Jimmy DeResta, and he once said something to the effect of, instead of focusing on what's the worst thing that could happen, focus on what's the best thing that could happen. Um, I think about those words often, and it is amazing how the best things are happening to me every day. It really has been incredible. Um, so I know we've talked about some of these things before, John, but I, I hope that works for you. Congrats on two years, buddy. And I also hope the best things are happening to you, too. 
My best friend Darren over at Return to Collecting, he is celebrating 1,000 subs. Congratulations, Darren. And he wants to know what is the one big card that we would like to pick up this year. So uh, since I started the business, I've really tried to watch my spending because even though I am uh, having the time of my life and I'm doing what I love, I'm not exactly making what I used to make yet. Um, so that said, if I can swing it, I would love to pick up a T206 Cy Young Milkman, and that would finally finish my T206 Cleveland Naps team set, which is the very first goal that I set out to do when I returned to collecting. See what I did there? Um, but realistically, I don't expect to be able to spend that kind of money. Um, so if I could uh, swing a Fan Craze Addy Joss, or a um, Swift Meets Rocky Calavito, uh, I, I would consider it a good year. Uh, neither of those are as expensive as the Cy Young, but uh, they're both really hard to find. Darren also wanted us to give some shout outs to three channels with less than 300 subs. So I'll go with my man Warren D in the CLE. Warren collects Cleveland cards just like me and I love his enthusiasm, he's a great guy. Next, I'll go with Godlike Collectibles. I first met Lou at the National and he hung out at the house with us. I hadn't watched any of his videos at that time, but now I'm hooked. Um, another great guy. And speaking of great guys, I was shocked to find that Matt from the card story did not have more than 300 subs. Great, great dude with a big heart and an amazing collection. So go right that wrong and give Matt some love. Hey, let's not forget about uh, Mike at Sticks and Seams, great channel, and uh, Brian over there at Hodges 1455, what a good dude, and uh, probably not that Jason over at Everyday Card Collector, he's kind of a jerk, he stood me up once. Anyway, uh, congratulations, Darren, well deserved, my friend. Okay, so um, Warren D, my buddy, he's doing, he just got his 200 subs, and he's doing his... Uh, giveaway which you don't have to do a vr you just have to leave a comment which is awesome but my man mookie he left a, he did a vr so i got a one up mookie here and i gotta show warren wants to see our favorite card so i'm gonna show warren my up, favorite everybody? card how we doing in person oh can't beat that Look yeah that. that's a beauty right there that is a beauty makes me jealous just holding it right now <laughs> I'm gonna sneak away. Give me awesome. That. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Warren. You got it, man. A couple of things to go over during this month's shareholders meeting. Before that, I just want to say thank you for those who voted me back in as a YouTube All Star coach. Um, it almost feels like this is even more of an honor than getting in as a regular All Star. Not that I'm saying that I'm better than a regular All Star. I'm. I'm but there's, there's less coach spots, and I'm going up against other uh, YouTube sports card Hall of Famers, and uh, I'm probably sounding really arrogant about now, so I'm going to shut up. But I just I just wanted to say, holy crap, guys. I Thank you. I'm flabbergasted, and it really means a lot. And thank you to Four Leaf for putting all this together. Moving on, I recently put 10 new shirts up in the shop and I have plans for a lot more. So if you see a shirt that you like, like these stadium shirts, and you wanted maybe like a Seattle shirt or a New York shirt or whatever, let me know. And I will try to move that up on the list of shirts to make. Uh, same goes for these uh, individual Tops Years or uh, these Wheaties inspired shirts. I've got to thank uh, Kevin over at Ball9, who recently wrote a very nice article about me. It makes me seem a lot more important than I really am. But if you are interested in reading that or any of the other awesome baseball articles they've got over there, I've put a link in the description below for you. And the last order of business, and I'm really, really excited about this one, is that I was invited to take part in this uh, baseball-themed art show out here in Northeast Ohio. It's in September. It's called Play Ball, and it's with a bunch of other amazing sports artists. Uh, so I've been busy, busy, busy making more of these uh, T205 parallax paintings, and I'm super excited about them. Um, I will keep you updated on how this all goes. We got a couple of care packages from July to share. So uh, this one's from my bestie, Jason Aaron Goldberg. This note says, hey, bestie, just thought it would be fun to hit you with some summer spoils from Shenanigans Card Park. Have fun at the Nationals. See you in the broadcast booth. Best Jason Aaron Goldberg. Jason is always so generous. Let's see. We got a uh, Stadium Club Jose. There's a UK Jose. We've got Carlos, Mark Lewis Sr. picture there. 
2020 strikeout leaders and 2020 ERA leaders, both with Biebs. There's uh, Cookie, Kluber, another Jose, Alex Cole rocking the rec specs, Jose, my man Josh, A&G Tommy, and Josh. And here we've got some upper deck heroes of baseball. There's uh, Cliff Johnson. Hey, Super Joe, very cool. Ooh, that one's cool too. Uh, Larry Doby and Minnie Minoso. And there's Sudden Sam and uh, Thunder Thornton and Jim Egan. Those are way rad. I almost missed this one. On the back of this, Jose is a Chrome A&G Stephen Kwan rookie. Very, very cool. Thank you, Jason. So uh, there's a story behind this one. So the day before the National, my best bud, Fourleaf, he showed up to stay at my house while I was at a Guardians game with Jake and the Drew. So Fourleaf ended up going to a Pokemon game event with my son, and they got to talking about how to make his deck more competitive. And so Fourleaf ended up sending Milo some cards for his deck, which is awesome. But in that package, Fourleaf also sent something for me. There's this Burke Ross Al Rosen was one of the prizes he was giving away at our national house. And I told him that I had been after one of these, but I did not end up winning it. Now, I don't know if this was the same exact card or if Four Leaf went out and bought me another one. But either way, I am so excited. And then here's a T206 Tris reprint of the card that we all chipped to buy Eric. So that one's pretty special, too. Thanks, buddy. You're the bestest. This next one is from my BFF, Math Bowler. It says, hey, superstar, did you ever have a care package that was so modest that you mailed it to them instead of giving it to them at the National? That might have happened here, your best friend, Steven. Don't be silly, Steven. Look at that. You started out with a signed Don Mossy postcard. You've really, really sold yourself short there. And uh, there's a Jose ornament. And what else do we have here? An Arby's Kenny Lofton. I've never seen that one. That's awesome. And uh, Casey Witten autograph, a Jeff Manchip autograph, and a Will Cordero autograph. These are awesome, Stephen. Thank you, buddy. Speaking of Math Bowler, I went to a card show with him and our mutual best bud, Brian, from Papa's Cards. After the show, we went to lunch, and Brian surprised me with this fat stack of awesome sauce. Here's a Jose Ramirez box topper, an Omar Vizquel relic, an Eli Morgan relic, Cookie Carrasco number to 60, a super sweet Kellogg Sudden Sam, my guy Josh Naylor, the white border is really sharp, I think, and uh, this Bob Lemon autograph, and this one's numbered two of four. Super cool, Brian. Thanks again, sir. This week, my best friend Warren came down to visit. We went to my LCS and an Akron Rubber Ducks minor league game, and Warren came bearing gifts, which he totally didn't have to do, but I'm glad he did. Here's a Cleveland Indians martini shaker. I know I didn't have one of those. Um, in this souvenir cup, we have a really sharp Bob Feller card. The camera really doesn't do it justice. Uh, here's a commemorative Chief Wahoo token and some tickets. These are pretty cool. Very fun, Warren. Thanks again for coming down to hang out. I had a blast. So I mentioned that show, it was in Washington, PA, just outside of Pittsburgh, and the main reason I went was to see Math Bowler eat too much. But I did snag this really sharp Bob Lemon Red Man. I also went to a show the week before, and I did not need this T206 Wilbur Good, but it was an upgrade to the one that I already had. I don't normally upgrade cards, but the colors on this are amazing, as was the price. And then I went to my LCS recently to pick up some top loaders for the Marker Doodle Monday cards that are selling like hotcakes. And I ended up buying these cat cards because I want to be like Dylan. And I got the whole set there. And I also want to be like James Bond. So I bought this 1965 James Bond card with the Aston Martin there. And finally, so um, there was the premiere of the Dick Perez documentary at the National. And if you went to that, I guess you could get these oversized Cleveland cards. I didn't go and I didn't find out about these until afterwards. I don't really think that most of these are his best works, if I'm being honest, but I had to buy them because of this satch. Um, Eagle Eye viewers will recognize that I have this original art used for this card hanging up in my office behind me. Some people assume that I did this one, but that is a Perez doodle. And yeah, really, really neat to have a card with that art on it too. That's it for now. Thanks and congrats to 3D80s Kid, Return to Collecting, and Pepino Man for the VRs and the milestones. And congrats to you two, Warren D and the CLE. It was fun hanging out. Thanks to Jason Aaron Goldberg, Four Leaf Cards, Math Bowler, and Papa's Cards for the fun care packages and for hanging out. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Now go find a better video to watch. I'm sure it won't be too hard and we'll see you real soon.